And my first guest joins me in studio. He's the CEO of Wowio Incorporated, Mr. Brian Altuni. And Brian, good to see you again. Good to be back here, Don. Well, it's exciting because we're reinitiating coverage of the company this week. I've been following you for quite some time, but um, I've seen so much of an evolution in the company, but also that the company is kind of leading a new evolution of its own, this evolution of the ebook space. And um, I've watched your company go from being a player in that space to pretty much being the leader in what is this new evolution. Tell us about it. Yeah, well, you know, we look, you know, I've been looking at this space for quite a long time, and the big players that are in the ebook space, the Amazon, uh, Apple, you know, they, they really are digital storefronts, and they, they're really just, they're marketplaces. And Apple's, Apple's done a great job at creating a, a really easy way for an audience to have access to media. But it's a pretty, it's a pretty contained environment, you know, through the iTunes store. Uh, and eBooks for them, it's really just a, yet another product in, that can be sold. And, and 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 there's a lot of value to that. And the iPad created a lot of, you know, a lot of awareness. They're selling a million and a half iPads a month these wow. days. And so, you know, the iPad's been fantastic. The Kindle drove a lot of the a lot of the effort as well. And Amazon just came out with a report that now they're selling, you know, 150 eBooks to every hundred traditional books and so the the take you know the, the take up if you will of the of the ebooks have, have definitely we've we've hit a mass audience now but but for me when i look at this and coming from an entertainment background uh you know i wasn't interested in just being another you know another ebook provider well we provided access for comic books and graphic novels that didn't really have a traditional outlet mm -hmm. so that's really where we started and where we put a lot of our effort uh but i what we noticed with that audience and that and we've had conversations on this show before you know that comic book crowd the, the comic book material has become you know really the source material for so many other forms of media m uh, video games movies television you know, and it's been it's been around for quite some time. So we looked at the opportunity to step out and be a real, uh, you know, a real evolutionary player, as, as you've said, uh, in the ebook space by creating a way now for storytellers to tell their stories utilizing the ebook format, but really looking at this digital distribution uh, uh, play and, and, and platform as a way to tell the story in as many different forms and formats as possible. And so we're really not just selling ebooks. When, when people ask and they don't understand the digital media space, we can say, yes, we, ha we have an ebook play. Uh, we just signed a, a, a deal with a very large supplier, so we're adding another 235,000 titles, ebook titles, to our site. But we're also about you know, we're about taking that, that material and turning it into, you know, uh, into graphic novels, into animated uh, elements, into live action elements, into, you know, really moving elements because our consumers want to, you know, when they, when they dig into a story, they want to know all the pieces of the mm -hmm. story. What does the author say? What do people have to say who are interacting with this? How is this, how is this impacting? Because it's impacting my world as a reader. How, how is it, how am I, how can I live in that environment? How is that going to, you know, respond to my environment. So Wowio is really f putting itself in a position to be a, a, a leader to provide that content in a, in a wide variety of forms. You know, when we were kids growing up on Friday nights, we'd watch Star Trek. Yeah. And when they read a book on Star Trek, it was an e-book. I mean, it was on a computer screen or on a tablet, if you remember. Right. And then we've seen that now come into reality. And something else that uh, we're seeing is the traditional storefronts like Borders are starting to shutter up some of their stores. That's right. I mean, we're seeing this tremendous evolution happening right before our eyes. Now, something we talked about a couple of weeks ago, the last time we did speak with you, was this coming out party right, right. that Wowio had down at Comic-Con in, in San Diego. There were, what, a couple hundred thousand people right. that descended on San Diego. I think your comment was 200,000 people came to a town that can easily hold 20,000. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's um, right. You came to us this week with some video of the party. We're going to roll that right now. Why don't you tell us what we're looking at? Great. Yeah, we wanted to show the, we really wanted to show the story and show the, you know, uh, tell the wow story to the crowd. And so we had a, a, a large boat. There we are in front of our, uh, and obviously, in having some, we did some interviews. We invited the press to come down. We had investors come. We had a, a live uh, band uh, uh, presentation up on the boat. We, it was really a very big party atmosphere. Um, put me in front of a microphone, you know, and I'll, it's, it's I can go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, we wanted to make a, we, we wanted to make a splash, and we sure. did, you know, both literally and figuratively, by you know having access to this uh, to the Comic Con floor these days. You know, it's impossible. It's, it, they're sold out two years a, ahead That's of time, amazing. and we really wanted to, to show, you know, San Diego. Listen, Wowio's here. We're serious about this space. We're serious about this play. We, we invited folks out to come out and, and talk to creators and publishers and advertisers. And so, you know, some of the pictures here are, 
we did our WOWIO, we launched our WOWIO TV uh, there at the boat. This is some of the footage of the con itself con and, con, okay. and some of the, you know, the, the floors, like I said, 150 to 200,000 people over the course of a weekend. Uh, half, half of them dressed up. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it was That's wild. Amazing, yeah. It's pretty wild. And then we launched WOWIO TV and there's a little bit of uh, the take up of, uh, of WOWIO TV. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, they really did full coverage from the floor um, and it began what we're now building again is a is a, a TV outlet, if you will, for okay. this content. So we're having our publishers. We did a lot of interviews with our publishers at the okay. con, and now we're having our publishers do you know trailers and and other information spots that they can be promoting their material up on Wowio TV, and just give them yet another outlet to take that material and hit their audience in a in a on a much more personal level. Well, this is what I'm talking about when I say that Wowio is leading this evolution because again, going back to when we were kids, our teachers. When, when they're encouraging us to read, say, when you read a book, it comes to life in your imagination. Right. Well, now with your ebook space, the books actually come into life on your tablet or on your computer screen. Tell us about that. That's right. And that's really the, you know, at the end of the day, where, where I think of it, and, and I think of myself as a reader as well. You know, when, I, when I've got a book in my hand, I'm, I'm, I'm like, you can't talk to me. I'm like, I'm in. I don't want to put it down. I'm in. Yeah. Um, but a lot of this, you know, a lot of the books that, that, that I read too, there's a lot of they're informational books, and, you know, I read a lot of business books and, and things sure. and such as that, where that they have resources and source material, and they reference other, other, other literature and so by having that be available to me there at that moment mm -hmm. I want to dig in I want to read I want to know you know uh, when I read a book uh, free by Chris Anderson he mentions Eric Schmidt of Google a lot I want to uh, uh, about a particular topic or something I want to go and see what Eric Schmidt actually said about that I want to read his blog I, I've now become a follower of Eric Schmidt so mm -hmm. so the, again the storytelling in whatever form, whether this is a business book or, or traditional literature, when I'm in it, I want to know everything about it. And, you know, we have this uh, on television with, with Lost, you know, great series on ABC. And if you were a follower of Lost and you went online, you could find information about fictional characters like the Hanso Foundation, the <laughs> Dharma Initiative, and all of these backstories and side stories and all these other elements that made that world, you know, so much broader than what you could get in a one-hour television show, uh, you know, on a weekly basis. And so, and so, and, and they had a huge fan base that went online to do that. And that's a, a tiny example of what we're trying to do from the book side. And books have been around for forever. And this is, and right, and this is storytelling has been around since caveman times exactly. uh, and so not and we look at this from a US centric perspective so mm -hmm. but keep in mind once we open up this world to to living stories and stories that can come alive and access to to footage and 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 authors and and, and all of this think about now what we can share w getting information from cultures from around the world right. and and we've had access we've had people who have come to us and said you know there's a, a publisher in Turkey that wanted to you know to, to do a wowio version in Turkey mm -hmm. and at that about you know we don't really know that much about 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 Turkey in this country sure. we don't know much about a lot of the countries we have readers from 262 countries around the world wow. we've had readers from as far as you know Bangladesh send us notes thanking us for making our books available to them and I thought I want to read about you know sure. the history of Bangladesh. I want to hear about the history of, of Turkey. Uh, you know, my family hails from you know Armenia and that in that in that Turkey in, in the area around Turkey. There's been a lot of clashes. I'd love to know the history about all of that. And we don't have a lot of that access here. So what we're talking about is an evolutionary and story an evolutionary time in storytelling that the digital format brings to us that we can now share with the world. It's a broad reach. I mean, there's a there's a potential of a cultural phenomenon here because, of course, uh, peace is achieved through understanding. Absolutely. And if we can understand the cultures around the world, maybe we'll find there's not a lot of differences between us, and those are the differences that seem to keep us apart. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And for us, it really is about and I think that you're, you're going to see wow you're going to be not only on the forefront of, of the ebook space, but really in the in the, in the world's effort to you know in, increase literacy and and what that means to to our to our global economy because at the end of the day that's really what it's all about. It's about we we now have global reach in any business that it has a you know that, that that's online or is doing anything online, it's a global audience now. So. You know, we want to be there in the you know, pushing the envelope as far as storytelling is concerned. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, at, this, at the risk of sounding like I have a man crush, I mean, I've watched Brian Althuni <laughs> over the last couple of years go from a um, you know studio executive to a major Hollywood player. You know, with you know a number of films uh, about to be released right. or in production. Right. And now the possibility of becoming a cultural and social icon. I mean, how does that <laughs> feel to well, be in that position? Yeah, it's a. <laughs> I'm not there yet. Um, you know what? I I, I I I see the impact that this that the entertainment work has on 
on the world, and I see how audiences react to some of the acts, to some of these, some of these properties. And my perspective is, you know, let's do, let's do something for let's, let's do let's do let's do it for for the good, and let's mm -hmm. see if we can create bridges that that actually bring folks together. You know, I appreciate that. That's, that's, that you know, that's very nice of you to say. But I, for me, I really think that there's a really ter tremendous opportunity. Nobody stepped up to be a player in this space. We're really serious about 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 having an impact here, and I think the reach is going to be significant. And when you see what we are going to do, we're going to announce in in, in probably a few weeks, but uh, okay. definitely during the run of of our of our time with you, what we're going to do and how we're going to change the Hollywood system as it relates to this digital distribution format. You're going to be you're, you'll be blown away. We're going to be in everybody's home in a very short period of time. It's always a blast to talk to you in a program, and I mean, I was kidding before, but no, uh, it's really <laughs> been something to watch the last couple of years. Again, Wowio Incorporated, their website is wowio.com. Brian Altunia is the CEO. Brian, thanks so much. Thank you, Don.